Yo, what's going on my good people? So right now we are going to do some maintenance on the BMW X1. We're gonna change the rear shocks because I legit think it's blown. And uh, I got these rear shocks a long time ago, so I'm super excited to finally get these on. Um, I'm back at my parents' place. We're gonna do this DIY and I will bring you along. Stay tuned. So first up, of course, you have to take out all the trunk accessories. You have to remove this plastic piece first. There's some torque screw that's holding it in and then you have to remove the liners and then you can get access to these strut tops. You might need to put the seats down, so definitely make sure to take out any existing car seats, which I'm gonna do, and uh, of course, remove the wheels. So let's get to it. Okay, now we are going to just undo these 240s torques, and then we're gonna get rid of this uh, black uh, cargo tray. Monco has already un undone or taken out one of the one of the the wheels, so we are going to tag team and get this done quicker. He's going to take a look at the hex sockets. Going to look for the 17 and 16s, and I'm going to try my best and take out the uh, liner here quick. So let's get to it. Oh shit, did I just break something? How about I just didn't break something? That sounded nasty. Uh, okay, well. Oh. Might have broken something. Hopefully that's not the case. Honestly, this DIY is quite easy. Once you take out all the liners from the back trunk area, there's only two bolts that hold the shocks in place. Once you undo those two bolts, the shock should be free. Look at this. So this is the obviously the new Billistine ones, Billistine shocks, and these are the old ones. So definitely gonna toss these in the bin and uh, we're gonna put these new shocks in there so that the car can ride smooth again. Stay tuned. All right, some new development here. We're installing the rear brake shoe. It's super difficult and it's something that we are just, just trying out. Right now we're putting on some anti-seize. Right now we just got the rear shock back in. We're gonna do the bolt underneath, reinstall the caliper, remount the wheel, and then afterwards we could reassemble the top. These shocks are very, very, very strong <coughs> to retract. Got the right side done. We're gonna do the left side. I'm going to refit the inner trunk liner and uh, hope for the best, cause it's tough. One hurdle that we almost couldn't jump over was pulling the last spring from one side of the brake shoe to the other. The tension was way too strong and we struggled to get a good grip on it, but when we finally got it, we were adjusting it with the adjuster and testing it by using the handbrake. My uncle was just saying how the newer cars you could just put the car in reverse and it will automatically adjust the brake shoe. Not sure how true that is, but if it is, then that's pretty cool. Hey, 
Okay, we're just wrapping up the left side of the rear shocks. After that, it should be done and it should be in 100% working order. Now, these cars are a bitch to maintain, seriously. I don't think I could do this solo. Good thing my uh, uncle is a handyman. He could obviously, you know, offer his expertise and help me out. Um, this, in my opinion, if you're not a DIY type of person, I would take this to the shop. There was a lot of different difficulties that we encountered and we had to kind of use, I guess, common handyman knowledge to uh, uh, make it through. So I'm excited to see how this handles after this all said and done. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so this DIY took a little longer than expected due to the fact that the brake shoe install was relatively new to us. The brake shoe itself was relatively hard and we didn't really know what we're getting into until we got into it. Needless to say, this is a really, really good learning experience and hopefully you guys got something out of it. Okay, finally, now that we are done, well, obviously my uncle is done. So we finally reassembled the left driver's side shocks and also installed the brake shoe, which in my opinion is obviously a safety first. So we got that all done. And now I just have to put the liner back in and then that should be a wrap. So there you have it guys. That was a DIY video, a quick DIY video, or maybe just an overview of how to change the rear shocks on the BMW X1. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about today's video and if you have any questions or concerns. But until then, see you next time.